Well, Twitter calls itself a micro-blogging social media platform, and yes, there are others, including a couple that are suddenly getting a lot of new users. The platform Mastodon has benefited most from the Twitter drama. More than a million people have created Mastodon accounts. People toot posts rather than tweet, and retweets are called boosts. New users complain, though, it's hard to understand how it works. You're required to choose a server where your account is hosted. And since you're starting from scratch, finding people to follow will take some time. And tooting isn't difficult, though, and there's a 500-character limit. Tumblr is still very much active with over 500 million blogs on its site. It looks more like a blog than Twitter with long-form posts and videos. Very cool looking. You may already have a Tumblr account you stopped using. I was a little surprised mine is still there. My last post was 2013. There's Parler, which drew a lot of new users when former President Trump was banned from Twitter. Mostly right-wing political posts right now. That could change if others start hanging out here. If you do plan to leave the Twitter sphere, be aware if you deactivate your account, you'll have 30 days to change your mind or reactivate it. If you don't in that time, your username will become available to anyone wanting to use it. That's What the Tech. I'm Jamie Tucker.